Hello everybody, it's Jen. I hope you're having a lovely day. I'm back with another design team project for Not Too Shabby Shop. And this week I'm using the Beam Me Up by Lawn Fawn. So I'm going to be creating a galaxy background using pastel colors. I'm using Distress Oxide, Broken China, and Cracked Pistachio. And then I'm using regular Distress Ink in Spun Sugar and Shaded Lilac. Or Lilac, however you want to say that. So I wasn't quite sure if this was going to work. I wanted to do a pastel galaxy background, so I wanted some lighter colors, and it was quite a bit of work to get it to work. Uh, so I've left in a lot of the background uh, design here, so you can see that sometimes you have to work at things, but in the end, they are definitely worth it. So. With the lighter colors of the shaded lilac and the sponge sugar, I actually had to use the ink pads themselves to get enough color on so that you could actually see it. And I'm just, you know, working back and forth here. And I've, you know, I've cut out a bit of it here, you'll see. And this is what I ended up with. So I'm going to bring in the Distress Oxide in Black Soot to create my galaxy. This is, you know, to make it look like outer space. So I'm going to cover up all of the colored background with the black Distress Oxide. I'm sure many of you have seen this technique done. It's nothing new. But I've done it before. I don't think I've done a video on it, but I've used much darker colors in the background. And I'm really pleased with how this turned out, even though, like I said, I did have to work at it. So I'm using Canson XL watercolor paper, and I do like that paper to blend on. I do like the Bristol Smooth as well, but the Canson XL is definitely more affordable. So I'm just using my Distress Sprayer here, and I'm putting lots of water. I'm using large drops, small drops, and then I'm going to pat it up with a paper towel as you can see and you can see the color really start to pop through the background. So I'm just going to use my heat tool here to dry it a little bit and then I wanted to see more color popping through the background so I'm actually bringing my distress inks in the same colors back and going over that where there's large uh, water droplets. And so I'm using all four of the colors and you can see with doing this it brings back some of that color. And I don't normally have to do this when I use when I do a regular galaxy background with the darker colors, but with the lighter pastel colors this extra coat really helped. So now I am spraying it with some shimmer spray and then I got out some white acrylic ink, not ink, paint. And I mixed it with some water and then I'm going to just spray that all over the background which really makes the galaxy come alive. So next I'm bringing out the Glow in the Dark embossing powder from Lawn Fawn and Jamie still has this in the shop. She is sold out of the Beam Me Up stamp set but she has a few of the coordinating dies left and this glow in the dark embossing powder which this is the first time that I'm using it and it is so fun. So I used an embossing pen to lay down some lines for that and I'll show you a picture of the card in the dark so you can see it glowing. Now I have been having so much trouble with my ATG gun lately. I love this thing but I don't know if they've had a series of bad batches of the tape that goes inside of it, but I'm ready to give up on this thing. So you'll see me struggle as I used uh, some of the Lawn Fawn Stitch Cloud borders here for the bottom of my panel. So I used the largest one and then I used one of the smaller ones for the front panel at the top here that I'm placing down now. And so that just gives a little bit of grounding for the card. So I'm going to trim that up off the panel. And then I'm going to start with the sentiment which reads, have an out of this world birthday, beam me up some fun. So I'm actually just going to stamp this with VersaFine Black Onyx ink here. I'm going to do that twice so it's nice and dark and crisp on the card. I'm going to just press down on that firmly 
And then I was trying to keep my fingers out of the ink while I put this card down. I did get a little spot. So I'm just going to use my white eraser to clean that up. And if you do it quickly, you can get it right off. So now I'm going to place the little beam here. And I did pop that up on some foam adhesive. And then I've got this little alien guy. And I just colored the bubble part of the spaceship with BG10 and BG11. And now I'm using YG03 and YG25 to color my little alien in green. And then I'm just using some grays for the spaceship itself. So I'm using C5, C3, and C3... I think I was about to say C3PO, like Star Wars, but no. C1, and this is just hopefully giving it a metallic look. And then I'm going to bring in some pink. So I'm bringing in the R83 and the R81 to do a little bit of pink detailing on this spaceship to bring in the spun sugar on the background. And then BV01 for the purple for the little circles on the spaceship. Pop that up, put that into place. And then I also have this little spaceship that I colored. I'm just going to put that right there to the top. And then I colored the cake and a present and I'm going to put that up in the little beam. So that is sort of the fun that is being beamed up, which the sentiment is alluding to. So I put that little pink alien there to the bottom. I'm using a black gel pen for the eyes, and then I'm using a white pen, and I'm kind of doing little scribbles all over the bubbles of the spaceship to make it look like it is glass. And that's the card. So I hope you enjoyed this card. Thanks for joining me. Here is a shot of it glowing in the dark. Have a great day, everyone, and I will see you soon in another video. Take care. Bye.